Drag racing for me began before I could even drive a car. Huge influence in my life growing up was my older sister. She was racing, she was doing terrible, but like any sibling, you wanna wear what they wear. You wanna eat what they eat, do what they do. And I looked up to my sister so much and I was like, I've gotta race, I, I want to, I want to be her. It's extremely expensive. So when you have a dream and a vision to become something and the variables that it takes to get there you don't have, you have to be very creative about how to get it. I would tell everybody, I want to be a professional race car driver, and they would laugh. <laughs> like, good luck, where are you going to come up with $3 million a year? It was finding partners and sponsors that believed in my dream and believed that I wanted to be the fastest and quickest person, not just female. Leah, 368-0. I do love being a female in this industry because I get to excite our next generation. I get to be a positive influence and a role model that I never thought that I would be. 3.6, 5, 4, 331 miles an hour. And the ladies are showing the guys what it's all about here today. 10 years ago, when I was formulating what I wanted my life to look like in career, it was a challenge cold calling companies and knocking on doors, asking them to be a part of my dream. And to them, it was a risky situation of, mm, I don't know, we're gonna stick with what we know A and B over here. And I'm like, no, let's go to A to Z over here. Everything that shines bright in the light always happens in the dark.